Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and this is part two of Windows Updates. Do's, don'ts, and what ifs. Uh, the other one is uh, also something where past and present are different, and that's where it clashes in ideas of what to do or not to do. Once again, if we go back in time, Windows 7 and earlier, we um, couldn't do anything during Windows installs. After the download phase was done, the PC was pretty much hogged down. It, you had to wait for all of those percentages. That's why, you know, when I see somebody say Windows 7 is the best, it's the crappiest thing ever. The updates are just so screwed up compared to what we have as cumulative updates today. The length of them, and it's just a forever and never-ending story. Um, it's such an old way of doing things, and that is much better today. I'm not saying that Microsoft is making it much better in what they are sometimes doing, but it is much better the way that updates arrive today, once again, because Windows 7 was shove in your face and just wait two hours if you have to. Windows 10 is, and Windows 11 is, we're installing in the background, and we'll give you that just 5, 10, 15 minutes of, re of restart that you can't use your PC. A very short amount of time that you're not able to use it. So that's why it's much better in 10 and 11 because that install phase that we talk in the background, you know, in the previous video, I said you could shut down your PC in there. It's not a problem. That's the phase where you're not going to break anything. That's also the phase when the pre-install happens, the pre-restart happens, like I have here. Once again, I've had a whole insider build install in the background while I was doing other things. It's waiting for me to restart, and I did a lot of things. I did videos. I looked at all sorts of things on the web. I went into all sorts of programs that I wanted to use, to different hardware that I have, and that is fine. You're not going to break anything. Once again, when the updates are installing in the background, they're not meant for you to be seen. The way updates work, you know, I when I actually post the, you know, security updates are here and uh, bug fixing updates are here, it's not for having you go into a panic mode, oh, updates are here. It's more of, I'm just telling you, we've got updates, they're here, and here's what they are for, and here's the security to fix. But technically, Windows, the way it's designed, you're not even supposed to go and check updates for that. It will happen on its own. I get comments from time to time that says, why you do these videos? Because, you know, it's auto automatic. I do the videos for the information purpose of that, you know, they're here and what they are for. But, um, of course, they're automatic. They will happen in the background. So, for example, if you use your PC they're going to happen in the background and unless you have an old pc where yes the background process might slow it down on a modern pc you don't see a difference your pc is as sap snappy and fast and especially when an ssd and you do whatever you want you won't even notice that updates are installing in the background and that's what it's meant for it's meant to be there without you noticing anything and then it will ask you to restart like my pc wants to restart right now Use your PC. Do whatever you want with your PC during that phase. As long as you're not at the restart phase, you can use your PC and do what you want. It's not a time that you're taking a break. It's not a time to, oh, well, okay, oh, God, you know, those, in, those updates are installing. It takes two hours in the background. I have to do something else. No, that's an old way of thinking of Windows 7 in the past. Windows 10 and Windows 11 are not like that. You are to use your PC during that process. And it does not change anything once again. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.